Scott, we're gonna have an impactful discussion because we're talking all things impact. We're going extreme, high, mid, and low. And it's all about different tools for the right job. All brushless line, which gives longer runtime, cooler operation, meaning it can stay impacting longer without burnout. More torque is delivered. Go ahead, we start over on your side. Sure, as more and more technicians become, as we say, untethered, you know, we're going more towards cordless, less towards air. You know, we wanna make sure that we're thinking about this as a family discussion. So you can see there's four different buckets here. That's how we engineer the line, right? So you gotta think about it as a family perspective. They are engineered to work within a given torque range. You know, it's not like you wanna have one gun to take care of everything. That'd be great, it's just not reality. You know, if you try to use a big gun on on very small, low torque bolts, that's when you start breaking things and snapping things off. It's a bad time. It's overkill. You, it's overkill. So let's start with the CT861. This is for small bolt size, low torque range, right? So we're talking about 12 millimeter or three ace bolts. You know, things like body bolts, oil pans, you know, light duty fasteners. So it's real lightweight, balanced. And then there's just two varieties of it. We have the CTA25, which is just a quarter inch version of it. And then the CTQ861, which just has the quick change bit on the front end, allows you to just use interchangeable quick change bits instead. So yeah. all of these are designed for the lightweight fasteners. Moving up a little bit more, the mid torque range is CT9010. Right, so the 9010, again, brushless tool, 3A drive, lightweight, nice and balanced, a little heavier than the 861, but not so much as the 9050, right? But again, this is really for your mid torque range, medium sized bolts, things like suspension and engine fasteners, even lug nuts, right? So great tool here, three power level selectors. So lets you kind of work within that torque range and being able to finesse the tool both forward and reverse. And with impact, make sure you use the right sockets as well. That is very important. We have got videos and content on that as well. We've been speaking about that forever. So jumping up from the 9010, 9050, and now extreme the 9080. Right, so the 9080 is the big dog of the group, of the cordless group. This is really for your extreme torque range. We're talking about getting up into this size of bolts, you know, for very large things, heavy duty applications, trucks, large vehicles, even, you know, those really stubborn stuck fasteners if you're in the rust belt you know trying to break things loose especially suspension you know it's important to have again think about this as a family you're not going to use something like this to take off an oil pan right you're going to want to use something like the 861 you can't use the 861 to do lug nuts you want to use the 9010 or the 9050. So you got to think about it as a family and make sure you have the whole range of tools in your toolbox. And now let's uh, let's go have a little breath of fresh air. We're talking about air powered. So just because more and more technicians are going untethered doesn't mean we don't continue to innovate in the airspace. So that's where we came out with the 338. Lots of power, lightweight, balanced, great tool when you have access to air. Then you step up into the 325. Again, you're just, you're working within the family. You're working within what's what it's good for, okay? Just like you would use this on as the 9010 application. Then you step up into the 725. That thing's got a lot more torque, right? That's where you're gonna be into the 9050 or the 9080, right? So you're kind of, again, if you like air, you wanna play within the family that you have. And the great thing about these is, you know, they're gonna run cooler, they're gonna run longer, you don't have to worry about charging batteries and all that kind of stuff, as long as you have access to good air. So you gotta think about it as a family. And just for a little bit of fun, we brought the big dog out, the, the elephant on the box. There's other pieces that fit within there, the MG1200 and other things like that. But again, like you gotta think about this as, you know, you're not gonna use a 338 on a bolt like that, and you're not gonna <laughs> use that on something the 338 would be, right? So you have to think about it as a whole family. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna use this putting together your flat pack furniture set. I mean, yeah, it'll zip right through it, but you're gonna do some damage. All right. joking aside, right tool for the job. Let's move over to some diversity here, the CTR family. So just like we have cordless impacts, we have cordless ratchets, and they're all, again, engineered for a specific purpose, right? So the Brute is designed for heavy torque, low speed. The standard cordless ratchet is designed to have a bit more free speed, slightly less torque because the gearing is a little bit higher so it can spin quicker. Then you get into the long necks. That's got better breakaway and better access, both quarter and three eighths. Then you have standard quarter inch ratchets. There's so many varieties here. Again, think about 
the torque level that you're trying to apply within the given job that you're trying to do and use the right tool for that job. You don't want to use a brute on something that's a real low torque application, whether you're pulling it off or removing it, because you can actually snap heads on low torque applications with the brute. Same thing, if you're using a quarter inch ratchet and you're trying to remove something that the brute should be doing, you're asking the tool to do too much that it's not designed to do. So you've got to make sure that you work within the family and understand the torque range that those are designed to operate in. It's got some great information and education for all our Snap-on Tools fans out there. So some great options to put in your toolbox.